gold is not considered a critical mineral. But the question is, should it? For more on this, we are joined by Neil. Neil, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. So you had a very interesting session, and for those who may have missed it, the session was trying to answer the question why gold is and isn't a critical mineral. From those discussions on stage, what were the main takeaways for you? So I, I would say that, um, first of all, there's a list that has come out um, which lists critical minerals um, in, in a couple of countries, um, most notably the USA. And, and that list is predominantly drawn up around the, the metals or minerals that are required um, to assist with uh, decarbonizing the planet, so addressing climate change. So it's a very focused list and um, to some extent um, it's left other players feeling left out. Um, so, so it's a useful list and it's a necessary list. And, and they are critical metals and they need it for technology, defense, and, and decarbonization. I think the point that came out of the, the panel discussion is that's all fine and well, but there, there are critical aspects to mining that are not recognized by that list. So there's a much bigger positive impact that mining makes. And, um, and therefore, there are many other metals and minerals that are you could you could consider critical for different end users and um, and therefore that that uh, critical metals list out of the U.S. is is probably a very narrow definition of uh, critical uh, metals. So another very important aspect is that for the first time we are seeing mining recognised as something good, and um, and and that means that. Uh, all the good work that we've been doing in mining, in the industry, um, you know, more recently over the last 10, 20, 30 years, um, is now starting to see its place in the sun. And, and mining is suddenly finding an acceptable place with civil society. So very, very, very interesting and exciting. Over the past couple of days, we've been talking about critical minerals. Where does gold then feature in that picture, in those narratives? So, so gold itself has limited use uh, from a technology, uh, a defense point of view, and so on. It doesn't mean it doesn't have some very, very good um, properties. Um, um, in our view, th there is no other metal that provides the underpin that gold does as a store of wealth, a safe haven uh, metal, and, they, and, and, and that makes gold unique. But again, I think um, let's not forget the role that mining in general plays in, in, in countries such as Africa you know, and, and others where there's so much more upliftment that comes from mining and metals than just a simple critical metals list. Take me through Sabania Stillwater's strategy as it relates to the gold assets in the country. Yes, yeah, so, so so we have a large exposure to industrial metals, those mm -hmm. critical metals um, that, that we've been talking about on that list. So, you know, that's lithium, that's nickel, that's uh, the PGMs. Um, and those are all industrial metals. Um, now, as soon as you have global uncertainty, you find yourself exactly where we are now. Mm -hmm. and, and that is depressed PGM prices uh, based on a, a reduction in demand. And guess what? You have a very solid gold price. So gold, gold in our portfolio is an insurance policy and it balances out the risk of the large uh, industrial metal exposure that we have. So where does it fit in strategically? It's an important asset. It's an asset that's generating good profit. And of course, we'd like to grow our gold portfolio. You're known in the industry as a disruptor. So what kind of disruption do you think is needed in South Africa's mining industry? Well, I, I think South Africa's mining industry is a very, very difficult place to operate um, because of some real challenges such as energy, such as crime, um, you know, and, and logistics if, you, if you're into bulk commodities. And uh, um, the disruptors that I think um, are needed are those things to address those 
those very specific issues because the, the perception in the rest of the world is very, very negative. And if those are addressed, mm -hmm. um, suddenly South Africa will become a lot more investable and we will be able to do so much more South Africans with our equity. Um, to me, that's the, the disruptor at the moment. Chris, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. For more insights, go to MITV on miningindaba.com.